Hey guys, Alex from Moonlight Zero with a new pick a card. You've asked and you are receiving it. So how it will be when we come to be together or how it will be when we reconcile depending on your situation. Uh, but please mind that there are only three piles. These three piles do not cover a, every possible situation. Just three groups of people I am connecting with today. So please be honest with yourself if this is resonating with your situation or not try to really feel which pile is calling for you for you to be able to choose your message the one that is for you and if it's not your message please don't get upset there are a lot of pick a cards on my two playlists of pick a cards there are a lot of pick a cards spiritual and personal growth pick a cards and uh, if I'm not your reader, there are a lot of amazing, wonderful readers on YouTube. And I'm sure one of them is resonating with you to the T today. So uh, if this reading is resonating with you, I would really love if you hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more. Let me know in the comments what you think. And you may also choose to follow me to the extended uh, readings. I will leave a link down below in the description box. And thank you everybody who is doing it. It really supports my channel. It really helps me to, to provide you with a lot of um, different kinds of readings and uh, monthly forecasts as well. So uh, we have three piles. Pile number one with this double Oli. It's like an owl in an owl. Pile number two Today is the day of the blue, I don't know, I have, I'm in a blue mood in a positive way, I love blue, it's my favorite color. So pile number two is this kitty, blue-eyed white kitty, and pile number three is the flower with the blue in the middle. Okay, so I will give you a second to choose. You can also pause, meditate, and then go to the timestamps. I will leave them down below in the description box or in the comment section or in the comment section. Okay, see you in a second with pile number one. So for those who chose pile number one with this double owl, we will see how it will be for you when we when you come together or reconcile with the person you're asking about. We have nine of pentacles, ace of wands the chariot and king of swords it's interesting so pile number one is for two very strong people strong personalities independent hardworking, a bit stubborn maybe not a bit so you i'm really drawn to this turtle and her cover her armor it's like your your stubbornness is your armor that's why it takes you a lot of time to make a step towards another person um but together you are kind of creating a blast of energy you are inspiring each other you are inspiring each other you are supporting each other you are uh yeah at least some of you you are like pushing each other to be better not I'm not saying like you are pushing each other psychologically, but um, by being together, there is an element of, um, how to say, uh, a competition, like an element of competition, a healthy one. And by this, by um, being who you are, you're kind of pushing each other to be better. And it's good because especially with this chariot, uh, there will be movement forward. There will be development, a solid development of this situation and with this king of swords there will be not just passion but there will be an intellectual i'm getting like into intellectual cap, cap, not capability um sorry i'm i'm losing my words today i don't know what what's wrong but it happens it's not mercury retrograde but the corridor of eclipses is coming and i'm feeling it for a couple of weeks at least already so uh there will be an intellectual compatibility between two of you as well it's like yeah both of you are very strong you're smart you're intellectual and there is kind of you're resonating on many levels so when you really come together there will be solid solid movement forward we'll see more now 
let's see more about this relationship how it will look like when these two people come together let's see more about this chariot and the ace of wands and there is the moon here queen of wands hmm so yeah there is definitely an element of competition an element of um so whoever in this energy of queen of wands in your relationship you or another person energies can be swapped sometimes you the queen of wands makes another person jealous makes another person not sure makes another person kind of wonder because uh one of you or maybe both of you in some cases are very attractive and you kind of know it and you are using it you know but um it seems like the second person the partner will not be discouraged by it but uh will be um, how to say fired up by it kind of i don't know being this kind of situation will make the second person him or her work more you know like um co compete it's like a competition like and it, it it's bringing a lot of passion between two of you and also there is will be a deep transformation of your feeling of loneliness feeling of not being um, like being alone in the whole world it kind of is lingering here and um, by coming together you will be able to work on it there will be no fear yet I'm not getting um, fear here so if somebody is flirty or maybe very attractive and there are a lot of people are coming to to this queen of wands as moths coming to the flame right it will be bringing a spark it will be producing a spark between two of you and there will be no fear that the partner is going to leave or something but uh somehow this movement forward this deep understanding on many levels will help you get rid of this fear of being abandoned okay let's see more how it will be when the viewer and the person they're asking about come together Three of Wands. Okay. Three of Wands. Knight of Cups. The High Priestess. And the Empress. You are going to be... It's kind of focused on building uh, a future together. It's... I'm getting like the sense of together togetherness. It may be not very... Um, not in the usual way some other people may see this connection from, from the outside as something i don't know not orthodox but it will be what two of you need and it will be mm, a deep connection yeah it's not only intellectual it's not only physical it's also uh, a spiritual connection for two of you and with this transformation happening for the sense of loneliness it it will transform into the sense of belonging with this empress it will be transformed into the sense of being home being safe having a solid ground under your feet for some of you it's going to transform into a, a marriage but for others it's at least having a stability you know stability having a um, deep sense um, of belonging and knowing that you are at the right place with the right person yeah and this this is just an element of flirting something like this with the moon card i'm not getting um, secrets but flirting competition that's that's that will be kind of your game but not somebody playing another person but a game for two and both of you will be kind of interested in playing it so it's a very interesting pile guys it's a very interesting deep multi-leveled connection that we are 
facing yeah two two equals coming together very interesting well i'm going to take this one to the extended if you choose to follow me there we will talk soon and if not i hope to see you soon with my other videos and we are moving to pile number two now so pile number two for those who chose this beautiful kitty here cute let's see how it will be for you when you come together or when you reconcile wow this is super intense cute kitty was a kitty with surprise we have eight of swords the hangman judgment and death this connection is going to lead to a major transformation some of you uh, you may check out pile number one for some of you it will resonate as well but not for everybody and with this eight of swords the hangman it's like this coming together will will make you see a lot of situations in a different light something that you didn't want to didn't even want to see or something that you would try was trying to avoid facing seeing with this this eight of swords can be different things for for you guys because it's general reading but it's something it's our limiting beliefs it's our inner fears it's what's not letting us see the truth the reality it's what's what we don't want to see it's you see this this um creature is blind and uh you're not seeing something you're not seeing something but you will be able to see the light where you didn't see any you will be able to see Mm, it, it will really really bring a lot of transformation of core beliefs for you it's a deep transformative event in your life with the death card here and uh, and with this judgment with this particular judgment look it's it's kind of there will be a lot of hidden presence hidden treasures it's it's a mm, it's a deep yeah I, I'm trying to find where it's a deep transformation that will open up a lot of things for you and in you. Okay. You will, yeah, at least some of you are going to either find some talent within you, you, you never knew existed, or will see yourself in a different perspective, will see yourself um, kind of in a different light value yourself more uh see some qualities that you were underestimating as something better than you thought you know so, so there is a lot of okay eight of swords and seven of swords mm, so what else can we get about this reconciliation this uh, coming together uh this relationship yeah definitely this is what i was feeling with this magician card that you are going to open up a lot of things um find out a lot of things about yourself about your potential so yeah there are some fears uh fears of uh, maybe you have never been in a long-term relationship before or, or they've been scaring you or the the commitment with this particular person was scaring you but you will work with it you will deal with it you will kind of change and uh definitely check pile number one at least for some of you it's going to resonate but this will transform your soul i want to say uh because for some of you this kind of cage of mind this prison of mind was imposed on you by uh your childhood your your parents somebody around you your school i don't know schoolmates somebody told you you uh kind of damaged your self-worth damaged your self-image and this person will help you transform it completely and you will realize that you are the magician how how many yeah there will be talents there will be this presence opening up inside in you you will see that you are talented you will see that you are creative you will see that you are smart you will see that you are worthy you will see so many things about you that you have never seen before you never even knew they are there you know I, it's oh, i'm getting goosebumps it's something really transformative for you 
and we also have the high priestess and the chariot and by the way you see major arcana major arcana major arcana major arcana major arcana major arcana like six major arcanas out of eight cards and two of them are about fears so there is this connection will help you deal with your fears and will open up the whole new world for you it's something that will take a long time but it will be like a long-term changes and transformations and with this chariot it will be movement forward more i'm really drawn to these stars here it's like there will be movement forward to to kind of be more in tuned with the universe to follow your stars to follow your guides to follow your fate you know it's things like like this wow this is well i know that maybe some of you you've been expecting to hear more about how 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 much in love you will be with each other but today we're kind of getting a very deep psychological spiritual uh theme here yeah something from the past this is kind of something from the past definitely affected your well everything every part of your being but this is a very positive very happy connection and something that's going to make you a different person you see we have nine of wands here this is your fears they come from from your past from your past experience from i don't know your past encounters with people your past love situations again your childhood it can be anything uh, and you will be much happier you will be first of all you will be learning how to be yourself you will be not afraid to be yourself you will be not afraid you will be accepted you will be loved and it will be very easy for you to be with this person and it, it's a slow process it will not happen over time or overnight but it's a slow process but you will be opening up it, it major arcanas they always take a lot of time it's it's a major processes and they take time and uh but you will be different, much happier, much more capable person as the result. And uh, with this Eight of Pentacles, you will be building something together. You will be... Both of you are going to invest in this relationship a lot. And uh, both of you are going to become stronger. It's a very... It's a long-term, strong connection that's going to empower both of people who are stepping into this. And this is wow. This is really wow. Um, well, guys, I'm really happy to see it because it's it may be like a connection of a lifetime, you know, that's going to change everything for you. So uh, if you feel like it's your reading, you may choose to follow me to the extent to to the extended reading. The link will be down below in the description box. If not, I hope to see you soon with my other videos. Uh, and um, see everybody in a second with pile number three. Hello, those who chose pile number three. Let's see how it will be when you come together or when you reconcile. What kind of relationship will it be? We have two of pentacles, ten of pentacles, three of wands and nine of swords. Uh, with this two of pentacles, you see, in this particular deck, it's not about uh, on and off uh, or like trying to balance two things or whatever. It's like when you come together, it's like you you like two peas from the pot. I don't know. It's like you are from the same same tree, two, two fruits from the same tree. It's like you are coming home. You are kind of connecting like this, you know. Um, and I'm getting like this hawk is like the universe is and you're going to feel like home you're going to feel protected also we have ten of pentacles this is building a home together it's focusing on your future together yeah there will be some uh, nine of uh, swords there will be some worries maybe um, getting mainly because you will be getting into each other too quickly uh, or it will be developing too quickly because it's like bam and you're a family <laughs> I don't know uh, for, for those of you for whom it's a new person coming it's like you are going to meet them and maybe I don't know in a month you're going to live together and you will be married in six months something like this it's going to go too, too quickly so it's going to bring you some worries because of that and 
with this three of wands, I'm getting two things. You will be focusing on building your future together, building a home together, building a family together. Uh, and it will be go going like unquestionable because both of you want the same thing. You, you will going to feel really, really connected. And uh, the other thing is that it's something you've been waiting for. It's something you've been waiting for, you've been wanting for, you've been dreaming for. But there is one thing I want to draw your attention to. Please don't merge with this person. Because when two people are coming together, if they feel super connected, if it's developing very quickly, it's really, really easy to lose your boundaries. And there is a danger of that. You see these two coins, they're merging. Merging into one. When you're merging, it is beautiful in the beginning stages of a relationship. It's beautiful, like you can't take your hands off of each other. You spend every single minute with each other. But after a while, you become it becomes too much, too much. Because one of you will want to have some space, some personal space, some per personal air to breathe, you know, uh, first. The other one will be hurting. So it's really, really <laughs> smart to have boundaries all the time to not merge into this relationship to not dissipate into a connection um remain in touch with your friends uh keep your hobbies going you know go to the gym don't don't forget that have some life outside of this relationship because again no life uh goes narrows down to a relationship only you need some life outside of it you need so you have some other important connections you have some other po important things and projects and hobbies to, to 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 do to keep doing you know so please don't merge don't merge okay okay let's see more let's see more how this relationship will be how it will develop eight of swords okay three of cups I'm getting, it's not the third person, it's a celebration. Eight of Cups and Four of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, for some of you, it may be a third person, but it may be that you're waiting for your person to come back from another relationship. And with this Nine of uh, Swords, Eight of Swords, Three and Three, you've been waiting for this person to, to come back and... Uh, yeah, there is an aura, you know, of something that it's kind of either you are walking away from another person or they are walking away from another person. But this third party is still in the energy, in, is still in the air of this connection. And that's why maybe you're trying to merge too much, spend too much time together, like build something super solid together right away because like... Did he walk away? Did she walk away? Or, or your partner will be questioning if you walked away completely from your past. So there will be some worries about that. But it, And it will be something that you won't be discussing. You won't be talking openly about. Which is also not a very good idea. So, okay. Let's see more. Let's see more about this relationship. So on the one hand, you are strongly connected with each other. You are like a soul family. And on the other hand, there is some worries about, yeah, and something not being sad, not being sad, not being openly discussed. So I want one more card. I want one more card. Okay, page of cups and page of swords. So yeah, guys, there's, if it's about reconciliation or if you're meeting a person who is a con in a connection now and you will be waiting for them to um, come out of this connection, right? Maybe they're divorcing, maybe they're separating. So you got to talk with this page of cups and this page of swords. Healing and clarity will really help because we have a potential of... Uh, beautiful happy connection here with this ace of cups but these secrets they are going to bring a lot of worry for two of you so change with this um, king of wands change it speaks about change different actions different um, words different things to be doing change it talk 
talk openly, talk, discuss, communicate these fears, these worries, because we are definitely looking at something that can turn into a happy family connection, happy long-term commitment. Uh, yeah, for some of you, you may also have kids together for whom, or for some, just a couple of you, maybe from this group, you may have kids together and you're reconcile, re reconciling with your baby mama or daddy and something like this. Or there may be kids involved here in some way. So, yeah, there is a possibility of very happy co connection here if you choose to talk not to keep the secrets because they are kind of separating you you know this what is left unsaid is separating you from this happiness okay don't don't let it don't let it do this to your beautiful connection well guys Today has been very interesting uh, situations and readings and I'm going to take this one to the extended as well for those of you who choose to follow me there. We will talk soon. For others, thanks so much for being today with me and uh, hope to see you soon with my other videos. Have a great day. Have an awesome week. Don't mind that it's Monday. Have an awesome week. Have an awesome day and see you soon. Bye.